Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Blockception. Uh, here we are at the Parthenon again, we're getting back to work on this. Uh, I believe I've shown all this, but I had to farm some more smooth stone and everything, but now we're getting back into this. I still have not changed these front parts. If anybody has any suggestions for this, I really need them. Because this just looks way too bland. I'm considering doing like red wool banners or something, hanging down on between the pillars so you can see them between the pillars like that like might look decent but I still need something for this I might just add some random sta stone stuff on here just to do textures like mix in some mossy stone brick and everything but yeah today we're just gonna I went ahead and finished up that whole mountain here and all that has been covered over with dirt and most of it's grown so it looks pretty natural here now you couldn't even tell that there, there was a hill here before, like a big mountain. Uh, yes, I misspelled diagonal, most likely. Sorry. Alright, um, it's just me and Kelly on right now. But, yeah, we've got a big area here now, and I expanded the Parthenon back some more. So we're going to have some more internal room now, which is good. Uh, so what we want to do is just take some smooth stone and build up the walls all the way around here. So let's see. Is there anything I need to talk about before I just cut all this out? Um, let's see. Well, we're recording the new Ultra Hard Core tomorrow. We had some last minute issues with uh, having to switch out some people. Like... Uh, Andy had to drop out last minute, which kind of sucks because he was going to be my partner for it. So I ended up, um, I got Bryant. I'm not sure. I think in the first season on my channel, he's in that one. So, yeah, he died very early on there, but it was just to, just because of his stupid shift glitching out on him. And he walked right into lava because of it. So that kind of sucked for him. Uh... But he'll be my partner this time around, so that should be pretty interesting. We're recording that tomorrow, which is Thursday at like 1 o'clock p.m. So, yeah, I look forward to that coming out soon. Although we haven't even released Season 4 yet, so it'll probably be a while before it actually comes out. We need to take a break from these, because we are definitely... We're doing more than we can, like, release... <laughs> So it's not really going to work out. We might have to do some unrecorded seasons or something. Uh, this time around, most of the teams will have a perspective, like, uh, recorded-wise. Because I'll be recording with me and Bryant. Uh, Marcus is with uh, DeCrables, and they'll probably both be recording. Although Marcus said he might not record since Crables is. Um, Evan will be recording him and Daniel. And... Then, um, let's see, what was the other team? Well, I know Penn and A7, they won't have a recording. And actually, Penn might not be able to make it tomorrow. So, uh, if he doesn't make it, then A7's just going to drop out and we'll only have four teams. Which would kind of suck, but hopefully Penn can get out of the stuff that is screwing him over on that. Let's see, what was that other team? Uh, let's see... Who are we missing in the groups here? Got Daniel, Marcus. Oh crap. <laughs> Stopped looking at the screen for a second, and that's what happens. Here, let me just bring this up really quick. I'm not sure what just happened to the video. For all I know, it just got all screwed up. Um. UHC. I thought I had it here. Alright, well, I don't. But we'll figure out that other team later. You'll know what it is. I could have sworn I had it. Alright, let's see if I'm even still recorded. Yeah, okay, so... The screen probably really badly derped out during all that, so hopefully it didn't screw it up too bad. I'm not even sure if you heard most of what I said, but I have no clue what that last team is. Here, let me see if I can check my feed or something and look at my featured channels and see if I can figure it out from that. 
Who is missing? KJ's not in it. Cade's not in it. Uh, she is walking down my whole Mushroom Island track for some reason, which is over 2,000 blocks long. So that should be fun. Alright, so, you know what, I'm, I'm going to look that up while I'm not recording, and also I'm just going to finish up this whole wall here. Uh, so I'll cut back in once I finish this, and then we'll start working on some more entertaining stuff. Oh, we'll figure out that other team later. You'll know what it is. Could have sworn I had it. Alright, let's see if I'm even still recording. Yeah, okay, so... The screen probably really badly derped out during all that, so hopefully it didn't screw it up too bad. I'm not even sure if you heard most of what I said, but I have no clue what that last team is. Here, let me see if I can check my feed or something and look at my featured channels and see if I can figure it out from that. Who is missing? KJ's not in it. Cade's not in it. Uh, she is walking down my whole Mushroom Island track for some reason, which is over 2,000 blocks long. So that should be fun. Alright, so, you know what, I'm, I'm going to look that up while I'm not recording. And also I'm just going to finish up this whole wall here. Uh, so I'll cut back in once I finish this, and then we'll start working on some more entertaining stuff. Okay, so we are back. Most of my stone's cooked up. I actually, I took a couple minutes while I was waiting for my stone to cook. And I made this little storage interface here for now. Got it all nice and organized. I like how this is laid out, because from the center block you can pretty easily reach everything. And we've got a lot of chests here. These signs don't obstruct these furnaces too bad, so... Yeah, they're relatively easy to always get consistently. You pretty much only get obstructed if you're sitting like right over here. But yeah, you can access everything pretty well. I'm still cooking a little bit, but I've got a decent amount of cooking here. Um, let's see. We haven't done any more building over there. Uh, you might want to be. You might see some interesting stuff if you're watching the chat, because Dan, Daniel and Kelly have been talking, and then Jurgen's joined in on it, and it got interesting. So um. We're going to get, oh yeah, also, uh, this is our last melon. We'll have to go get some more. Right now we're working on some scavenged food here. How's my sound? Alright. Uh, this is just, like, from cows we killed before. I wish I hadn't wasted all that beef on my wolves that just disappeared. Apparently, if you leave wolves around an SMP, they just decide to vanish and never come back. So, uh, not gonna have any pets on this server. Um, let's just eat this. There we go. Now we're gonna we're gonna have health regen for days here. Let's get a stack of ender pearls and a water bucket going, and fill the rest of our inventory up with smooth stone. And then we're gonna head up and finish building the wall. Um. All right. So now that that's now that we're back to building the wall, I'm gonna cut again. And I'll cut back in when we get to the interesting stuff. Alright guys, and we are back. Uh, yeah, they're now having a discussion about Canadians, which is much, be much better than what they were talking about before, so I'm not fine with that. Oh, there we go. Hold on. God damn, typing an issue. That that doesn't even make sense. Uh, Alright, so apparently... Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, this is getting really bad. God. I apologize, but I don't know, you might find it entertaining. If you do, you have a horrible and sick sense of humor. But that's fine. Uh, I welcome those kind of people. 
Alright, is this the same height? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, this looks like it's about the right height. So we'll stick with that for now. Crap, is this the... I think this is the right size. Yeah, because this is the 5x5 five five version. The one that uh, just has a boat elevator in the middle. So I'm going to build one of these just to see how it looks inside. We still need to do the whole roof and everything. That's going to be a project. Uh, Alright, we need to go down one on this. Apparently, Jurgen sells tits on a stick. Interesting. I didn't know that about him. Alright, so... kind of just want to stack up here and make these pillars. What? What are they talking Okay, I'm not even going to try to respond to them. I'm just going to ignore them for the duration of this recording. So you can probably ignore what I say and listen to their strange conversation. Have fun with that. Um, Let's see, what can I talk about here? See the park. Oh my god. Alright, don't read it. Don't read it. Alright, so I'm going to go get the clay and... I'm hoping I have enough clay to do these pillars. I think I will. I got like a row of clay block stacks, which I think should be enough, but I'm worried, but I don't even know what they're talking about, so I'm just going to ignore it. Wow. Look at those rapid hit the ground too hard deaths. I didn't even know that was possible. Alright, so we're just going to go up with clay, and then we're going to jump off the side, probably. Although it might actually be... Let's see how much damage we take from this. That's not too bad, but I'm not going to be able to do it again without dying. So yeah, we should probably use Ender Pearls next time. Oh, actually... There's going to be water here anyway. Might as well... Here, actually, that was stupid. Alright, let's go back. Let's break this clay. We'll turn it into blocks again. Alright, let's go up and then put our water in place. At least, so we can get down. That would be good. So for now, I'll just make a little encasing for it so it doesn't flow out too much. And, uh... We will place water, throw ender pearl, and then break a block here before it falls. There we go. So now we've got our safe way of getting down for now. And that will later be where the boat elevator goes, so it's also just good to test that out. Um, another thing we might do tonight, I don't have that much time, but I'd like to get started on uh, doing some throne ideas. Like a little throne there. And I have a plan for it to be used as sort of a transport system. It might end up like, I don't even know what it would shoot you to. <laughs> but I feel that Although it might actually take you underground to an underground segment of this where more stuff would be. And this would just be like main storage and all that. Even the, Although this place here is going to have storage, it's not going to be my primary storage area. I'm probably still going to set all that up over at the map room. This is going to be more of a house. I'll probably still spend most time around here. But anything I don't need, like immediately I'll probably store over here. And this will be more of a... Uh, temporary, more commonly used storage. I actually didn't consume as much clay as I was expecting. It only ate like a stack of my clay up, which isn't bad at all. Alright, let's build the other one of these pillars. When I get back, well actually, should I cut here? Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna, here, let's finish that pillar completely, and then after that I'll cut after I build the second one. I need to eat. Crap, we're really running out of food here. I'm kind of tempted to just go and farm, like, a entire double chest of bread or something. And just be set for life on that. Alright, let's get a bunch of smooth stone here. And finish up this pillar here. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. What? I really don't have much to talk about here. Um... I already mentioned Ultra Hardcore. Well, I guess... Hmm, don't really want to mention him yet, either. Oh, 
Well, I I know I've mentioned I think the tournament of Seption before with Marcus. Uh, the first match of that is going to be played on uh, either Saturday. I think it was either um, Saturday or Sunday or something like that. I'm not sure of the exact date. I'll probably put it in the description or something. I'll go back and check. But uh, they're going to be live streaming that whole thing. And the first round is just going to be a uh, all-out free-for-all Hunger Games. So if you want to see... Me and Marcus do some Hunger Games. The whole point of it is uh, the team who wins that gets to pick what the first round is and who they're playing against. Uh, so hopefully we do win that. I'm not completely sure that we will. I mean, I've never really seen any of these other people play. But I went and I looked, and uh, the people they were picking out as their top favorites, I've noticed that in this tournament, like the people who are playing in it mostly are they know each other pretty well uh, which is kind of an advantage because they don't know anything about us but I can just pick up stuff about them from listening to them talk and all that so the people who they were picking out as like their top picks for winning this Hunger Games I watched them and they did not seem very good so I think me and Marcus have a solid chance of winning that and our current strategy is, if we do win it, we're going to challenge the people who died first. Unless, that's unless the people get really focused on and we notice that. In which case we will not target them, because that means they're really good most likely. But yeah, we want to, uh, the person who gets killed off first, we want to challenge their team. Because we're thinking they're going to be our easiest the easiest to beat in PvP because they were so bad at Hunger Games. That's just our thoughts. We don't really know much about these people. Other people getting the chance to pick would probably give them a lot more of an advantage than us just because we don't know the people at all. So looking forward to that. It'll be live streamed. Um, when we're about to live stream it I probably will put up like a video on my channel really quick notifying it and putting a link to the stream so people can watch if they want and I'll also be recording I'm not sure if Marcus will um, so all of it all I'll be recording all the rounds that I'm in uh, yeah it should be interesting it seems like this tournament is gonna end up being a lot of Hunger Games maps which kind of worries me. I don't have a lot of experience with Hunger Games, but I'm relatively good o at overall PvP, so I think I should be fine. I mean, PvP is kind of one of my favorite things to do in this game. So I'm hoping I do pretty well there. Is this a uh, half slip? So I need to go down. I can't tell if I'm level with this or not. I don't think I am. But this is definitely not a half slab high. Okay, let's count the amount of lines here. That might help us. One, two... Okay, that's not going to work. Um, we might just be better off building the quick clay bridge here. Maybe if we get a little bit closer, we can tell. Can we tell now? Yeah, we need to go one higher. Well, that was stupid. And we are officially out of food, and we are now down to rotten flesh. That's awesome. Alright, we'll just stack up there again and build another pillar. So, yeah, all that will be recorded. I think I... We should do pretty well. Although I don't... Again, I don't have much experience with how good these other people are at PvP and all that. I know there were some people in their podcast just saying that they were going to do terribly and they kind of just signed up for the fun of it. So I am, I do think we have a good chance of winning and I'm hoping we win. Uh, I also, if we do win, the prize is a $30 Steam game and I already know what game I'm getting. Uh, if you've ever seen, have you ever seen the DayZ mod? I'm not sure if you have. Uh, Pause on Pause and Anderzel have started playing it recently and it looks like a really nice game. It's a, uh, Sort of a free-roaming zombie apocalypse type role-playing game. Which is really cool in my opinion. It looks really fun to play. It's like 
walking around scavenging for supplies and basically just trying to survive. Uh, there are a bunch of other players around and they can basically do whatever they want. If they want to kill people, they can. You can basically do anything you want in that game and I think it'll be really cool. I'm considering if I get the game, I might play it like on video. But it's also a lot of wandering, so I might just do like highlights of it. Just record a lot of wandering around stuff, and then if anything interesting happens, only show that part. Maybe fast forward the walking. Not completely sure what I want to do with that yet, but I, I do think I would make some kind of videos if I got that game. I'm going to wait to see after this tournament what happens here, but uh, the DayZ is definitely the game I would get. I'm considering still getting it after. Uh, Daisy is actually not its own game. It's a mod for Arma 2. Uh, but you have to have Operation Arrowhead expansion, which is 20 bucks. But the actual game is free. So they allow a $30 Steam game. So mine would be Combined Operations, which gives you the better textured version of Arma 2 and Operation Arrowhead. Uh, if you've got any other suggestions for games that you think would be better, please tell me. But... At this point, I doubt my mind's going to be changed, because that definitely, I really want to play that game. Whether I buy it myself or I get it through that, I don't really care. Uh, it seems like I made this exactly 16 high. That's weird. I wasn't expecting to do that, I wasn't trying to do that at all, but I guess somehow that just happened. It's kind of weird, maybe it's just like a natural thing, I like 16 high. Because it's a nice even number, it's the size of a chunk. Yeah, probably. Okay, so let's finish up this pillar here. Uh, is there anything else I want to talk about with that tournament? Let's see, it's live streamed, mentioned that. Um, not really much else to talk about on that front. I'm not even sure how long I've actually recorded at this point. I'm going to check really quick and see how much time we have left, and then I'll see what to do from there. Alright, so I finished up the pillars, and I also threw in a little placeholder really quick for the throne. That's definitely not what it's going to look like, uh, but the plan is to... I'm not sure if I showed this in the testing video right when I started building the Parthenon, but back here there's going to be a piston, and then up on this block here there's going to be a button with a redstone torch behind it so that will activate this piston so when you push the button this block will pull back and you will fall down a hole and there will be a safe drop down there and that's another section of the base altogether so this building is only like the smaller part of it and then a lot of other stuff will be underground that's the whole plan anyway I'll probably have that be my main home and have that go and connect over in that direction to the mob system. So we can do that. And then we might set it up once the 1.3 comes out. We do have a silk touch. So we could set up an AFK stream similar to how JL does it. And have all that come over here. So we could collect it over here at the Parthenon. Which would be pretty nice. Uh, one thing I want to test really quick. Oh yeah, by the way, we had like 10 minutes left, so we've got a good amount of time here. Uh, but yeah, I want to make a couple boats really quick. And just make sure that the mechanics that I was using before actually still work in SMP. Oh, I didn't add any crafting benches here. Uh, that would be the lamp. Ah, damn it. Crap. Uh, that's annoying. Alright, uh... Got to be more careful with the shovel. The shovel is too powerful. Uh, how am I going to get out of here? <laughs> Crap. I guess I'll just grab some water. Get out that way. The old-fashioned way, because I apparently don't have any ender pearls. Alright, so let's place this dirt back. Be more careful this time. There we go. And let's make a few crafting benches here. Oh, wait, what am I... I know for a fact that I have, like, seven crafting benches here. This is the issue with crafting benches, is that they're so cheap that you make a ton of them. <laughs> and then 
you always all right you know what i want two more there uh that's gonna bug me otherwise that that's gonna look a lot nicer with two more crafting benches here and there all right so now we have to figure out what these chests are really quick uh sorry dirt uh what's this cobble cobble uh smooth stone I believe this is stone miscellaneous. So stone misc. And what's this? Wood. Alright. Wood. There we go. So we have all of our stuff labeled here. Again. And that grass needs to regrow or it's going to bug me terribly. But, yeah, now that that's done, I don't even remember what, Oh, yeah, we were making boats. There we go. So, let's make some boats really quick. I don't know what I was doing dividing up all this wood. I think I was trying to divide it so I could make a bunch of boats, but I don't even see how that would work. All right. So, we've got a couple boats here. I'm also... I'm planning on having an auto boat destructor up there. Just so you can kind of... It says dock boat here and you ride the boat to that area then you get out and you push a button and the boat gets sent into lava or something just to have a good way to dispose of them what is happening uh that that could be an issue what's happening here what did this pillar have to be bigger am i using the wrong design again uh what happened what is the issue? Um, man, this could be a problem. Why is this not working? Do I have to place it on a half slab, maybe? Uh, that did not work either. Okay, I'm really worried now. Is this is this an SMP thing, or did I screw something up with my original design? What is wrong here? All right, one, two, three, four, five. More boats needed for testing purposes. I'm very worried now that I screwed up these pillars, and I'm gonna have to redo them because that would kind of suck. Uh, what is it that I'm doing wrong here? Maybe it's that these are here. If I remove those, maybe it'll work. Uh, kind of. Could do that, I guess. That's at least one fix for it. Although I don't think that's how I had it laid out before. Um, I know before I went like this, and then... Here, maybe I could go like that and place the boat on that. Would that work? Because that would be fine. I need to get out of here. So if I place the boat on that, will it work? Uh, it doesn't appear to now. Oh, God. Lots of issues. Is it just because this isn't filled in? That should probably be filled in. Uh, about now. Nope. Maybe. If I push out of this wall a little. That worked, I guess. But I'd rather... On the other way, I had it working where I just had to, like, double right click and it worked. So I kind of don't like it that it's not working now. Here. I don't have that world set up right now. I can go put it back in my saves folder real quick. I'm going to go check out what I did over there and see what I'm doing wrong. Uh, okay, so this is starting to worry me. I, uh, I've got this configured exactly as I had it in the other world with the uh, upside down half slabs and all. And I still can't get it to work. I think it might just be an SMP, how SMP boats are placed. Uh, hold on. So that could be an issue. I guess I could, like, 
swim into it and float into it, but I was hoping to not have to do that. Uh, I really should set up like a localized SMP server. I was, I really should set up like a localized server really quick just for all my testing. That way I don't get issues like this between switching from SMP. Uh, that's really annoying actually. Uh, and now I've got to waste a bunch of wood on boats testing it. Good thing I collected so much from that forest I nuked. I don't know why I was just putting an extra one in each one, so I might as well make another boat. Alright, so... How, what could we do to fix this? Well, the obvious solution is just to go like this, and then hop in the boat, and not suffocate to death. Alright, that's bad. Suffocation is not a good thing. Yeah, I don't like having to mess with it so much. If I could get away not to have to do to not do that, that would be good. But I, I'm not seeing that as a possibility at the moment without making this pillar any bigger. Hmm. Really not sure here. Maybe now what happens if I place the water? Well, that doesn't help. And now I've just got a boat in the back. God damn. Now I've got a glitched out boat. Great. Alright, so that was a terrible tactic here. And that stupid boat's going to screw up my block placement too. Thank you, Mr. Boat. For being completely unhelpful. Um, I don't even think we can break it now. Uh, what is pushing me up? Oh, my mouse is frozen. Great. Alright, there we go. Um, let's see if we can just break this stupid boat out. Uh, alright, so it's... There we go. Wasted some smooth stone there, but we got it. Well, that's annoying. So, uh, let's seal this back up. What am I using dirt for? Not sure what I was thinking. Man, that is really stupid. The damn SMP glitches. I'm really glad that they're fixing all that in the next patch. Man, I can't believe that. This whole system just got screwed up. Uh... Well, that didn't work either. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Suffocating in a boat. Alright. Thank you, boat, for being completely useless. wonder if I used, like, a fence, maybe, and placed it on that. Alright. I'm going to try some stuff out, and I'll cut back in when I figure something out that works.